Hi everyone and welcome back to Demetra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make roasted lamb shanks. Let me, let, you, let me show you what we need and then we'll get right to it. So we need olive oil of course as always. We need the lamb shanks washed and dried. Some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Make sure it's freshly squeezed and not that canned kind or bottle kind. That's just good for cleaning. Never ever put it in food. Anyway, we have a little bit of freshly squeezed lemon juice, some black pepper, granulated onion powder, cumin powder, crushed red pepper flakes, lots of whole garlic cloves, sea salt, olive oil, and oregano. I just went ahead and mixed it together, and a little bit of water. To get the exact measurements, you know where to go, DemetriusDishes.com. You'll get all the written out recipes with pictures and everything. This is, uh, this is just a demonstration that goes with it. But if you want to get the, you know, the exact quantity of how much we're using, just go on the website and it's going to be really easy. Okay, so I've already preheated my oven to 450 degrees. And I'm going to begin by pouring out some of these already peeled garlic cloves. And we're going to make kind of like a bed underneath, underneath the lamb shanks. It's going to, they're going to roast underneath. They're going, to, they're going to add tons and tons of flavor. And I love to buy the already peeled uh, garlic cloves. It saves me a lot of time. I use garlic in almost all my recipes. So why not, right? That's one less thing to do. It makes things super simple. Okay, so I've already washed my lamb shanks. And I'm just going to place them on top of the garlic like that in my roasting pan. And lamb shanks are a really good uh, cut of meat to, to cook with. Lamb, of course, is super delicious. It can get a little pricey sometimes. So lamb shanks are a great way to go if you want to get a little inexpensive cut of lamb. I love that they're individual size portions, so it's perfect when you're cooking for a big group. Everybody can just take their piece and you know, move on if you're serving buffet style. And you know exactly how much to make, you know, you don't have to guess. Sometimes they're big, sometimes they're small, so that doesn't really matter. I'm making eight. There's six of us here in my house, and these are gonna finish in no time. Whatever's left over will get used for lunch tomorrow. Okay, so we're, I'm just gonna pour a drizzle, a little bit of olive oil, of course, extra virgin olive oil, on top of my lamb shank, so that way my spices will stick to them while it's roasting. Then I'll put, I'll season it with salt. And I have the exact measurements, but when I'm cooking, this is pretty much how I do it. I just sprinkle on top and make sure that it's coated. I do each side separately. And I can kind of tell, because I've been cooking for many years now. But again, I have the measurements on the website. If you're new to cooking, or if you're not sure, and they're very, very accurate, um, so just follow those if, if you're new to this. Freshly cracked black pepper. Of course, crushed red pepper flakes. Put them in everything. They're not very spicy and all you need is a little bit. And it just adds that hint of spice and it goes a long way. So I'm going to use half of my dried cumin for one side and the other half for when I flip them over. On the other side, some onion powder. Granulated onion powder adds that nice sort of sweetness. And it's a really, it goes really good with lamb. And we don't need garlic powder since we already have um, the garlic cloves that are going to add an immense amount of flavor. I'm going to turn the shanks over because we need to always properly season. That's where most of the flavor is going to come from. So you want both sides to be seasoned evenly. OK, so now I'm just going to make sure everything is properly coated and kind of move them around and rub them just like that. I'll wash my hands afterwards, so no worries. Make sure the garlic stays on the bottom. This is kind of my way to ensure that they're seasoned everywhere. OK, so the oven is preheated to 450 degrees. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to place them in the oven after I wash my hands, of course, uncovered. And I'm going to allow them to roast in there for about 30, 35 minutes until they're nicely browned on top. Then I'm going to take them out of the oven, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. 
Okay, so I just took them out of the oven. It actually took about 40 minutes. I was timing it. It took 40 minutes, not 30 or 35, for them to get this nice uh, brown color on them. This just locks in their juiciness. And this is actually a step that I started doing because technically um, the real proper way of browning uh, meat is to brown it over the stove and that just splatters oil all over the place. It creates a big mess. It's just one more thing to wash and clean up. Why not just you know use the one, po one pot that you're cooking in to do all the work for you? So I just started doing that, just cooking at a really high heat in the beginning and then just finishing, out, fi finishing it off in the same pan for the rest of the cooking process. So it's out of the oven now. I'm gonna mix my freshly squeezed lemon juice with my olive oil and my oregano. And this is lado lemono, you guys. Lado lemono just means uh, lemony olive oil and that's a common dressing used in Greek cooking and this dressing is just great on almost everything. It's great on salad, it's great on vegetables, it's great on marinating chicken and beef and lamb and, and a hundred other things. So go on the website, DemetriusDishes.com, the recipe is up there and just go, you know, make a lot of things with it. I'm also going to put a cup of water in here and I should actually pour it in here so any flavors that are left in my lemony olive oil bowl will get distributed. Okay, now I'm going to cover this really tight with aluminum foil. I've lowered the heat. I've lowered the heat in my oven to 350 degrees and I'm going to let this cook in there for two or two and a half hours at 350 degrees covered with foil and then I'm going to check on it after that and when the meat is completely tender and basically falling off the bone, it's ready. Welcome back everyone. So I'm taking, I'm taking the foil off of my lamb shank that have been cooking for two and a half to three hours. I like my lamb shank with the meat literally falling off the bone, super tender. I feel like they're the best that way. Let me show you what they look like and I'll also be showing you uh, how you can serve these. So look at that, they are so beautiful. They've released a lot of juices. So you can, you can put all this gravy in a little uh, serving container and just pour it on top of your lamb when you serve it. Okay, so I'm gonna make a little vinaigrette really quickly. It's gonna be a balsamic vinaigrette for my roasted vegetables that I'll be serving with this. You could find those on another video that I've done called Roasted Vegetables. I've made lots of recipes with them so far. I love using them as a salad. And balsamic vinaigrette, since they're already uh, lightly sweet from roasting, is perfect with this. And you just need a little bit, a little bit of honey for sweetness. They're already flavored perfectly, so it doesn't need that much, just a little. Some black pepper and of course some sea salt. So I'm serving my lamb shanks tonight with some roasted vegetable salad. I also made gigandes, which are basically baked li uh, giant lima beans. Those are coming up either this week or ne next week. We're gonna be putting a show up really, really soon on those, so watch out for that. And uh, the roasted vegetable, like I said, is already on there. The recipe's on my website www.demetrasdishes.com and I'll be posting a link uh, underneath the description for my lamb shanks on YouTube so um, you can get all these recipes easily. You won't have to search for them. So here are my roasted vegetables. Doesn't that look beautiful? Now I'm putting it in all together. I'll slice the carrots up later on in an effort to make these videos a little shorter. I'm going to have to cut some steps because no matter how much I try, you guys, I talk a lot. I always have a lot to say. So the videos are kind of long. I'm still working on it. I'm new at this. So I'm just going to pour this vinaigrette over while they're still nice and hot. And that's done. I'll put it all in the plate. Let me show you, let me get one lamb shank. 
in there. Let me get some of this beautiful sauce and some of the roasted garlic. That's probably the best part of this. And I think the carrots are probably one of my favorite parts of the salad. And then let's not forget the gigandas. And my favorite part of these gigandas, the, uh, the giant lima beans, are the kind of burnt ones on the edges. Those taste the best. Sprinkle some feta cheese on top. Go on my website, www.demetrisdishes.com. Get these recipes. I'm going to taste it and make sure it's really good to serve before everyone comes in and eats dinner. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mmm.